Okay, so apparently the first video didn't fully load, uh, stall for some reason. So here is our notes video. So let's get on with it. So the question here is, what is this x worth? Okay, but if you look here, it's a 90 degree angle. So you know that whole angle is 90, and you know that's 35, so you just have to go 90 minus 35 <coughs> equals 55. So you know that's 55 degrees. And your proof for that one is complementary angle theorem, so cat. <clears throat> I apologize, in my background, my wife and kids are watching Jumanji, so if you hear some weird things every so often. <clears throat> now here, well, there should be a 90. We have a 90 degree here. So, same thing, we have 10 degrees. So we know it's 90, we know 10 exists. So the amount that's remaining is 80. So therefore that is 80. And we have to say what we did, so it's cap, complementary angle theorem. Now this one here, this time we have a straight line, okay? So that is 180 degrees. This whole thing is 180 degrees. So since we have 30 of it, all we have to do is go 180 minus 30, is going to give us 150 degrees. So we know that's 150 degrees, and we also know our proof here is SAT, supplementary angle theorem. Once again, we have the same thing, 180 degree line. 180 minus 60 is 120. 120 degrees. <clears throat> and once again, we have CAT, complementary angle theorem. So here, we're going to find every missing angle. So the first thing we can do is we're going to use opposite angle theorem. So that means this angle here is equal to this angle here because there are two straight lines crossing. So since that's 80 degrees, that means this is 80 degrees. And we can prove that through OAT. Now here, to find this one, Right? We have a straight line, so that means it's 180 degrees. So 180 minus 80 equals 100. So that's going to be 100, and that's going to be SAT to prove that one. And then here, this angle equals this angle, so this is 100, and that's OAT, opposite angle theorem. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing over here. 140. So the opposite angle theorem says where two lines, two straight lines cross, the opposite angles are the same. So this is 140. Now in here, we have a straight line again. So that's going to be 180 minus 140, which equals 40. Oh, I forgot to write the proof. Opposite angle. That's a horrible 40. So this is going to be 40 degrees. And that's going to be, no oh, S. Oh, I missed that. S. There we go. SAT. Okay. And then here, this angle is equal to this angle. So that's 40. And that's OAT. <clears throat> so, last ones. Let's find all our missing angles here. Well, first things first. We have a 90 degree here, <clears throat> so 90, 90 degrees, <clears throat> and we have 30, so we're going to go 90 minus 30 equals 60. So this here is going to be 60 degrees, and that's because of complementary, CAT. Now, for right now, I'm going to take this line here. And this line here. I'm going to just look at those two. So remember opposite angle theorem. That means this one is going to equal this one. So that's 60 degrees. And that's through OAT. And I'm going to switch colors and switch my thought. So I'm going to take a look at this line and this line. Once again, that means this angle here equals this angle here. 
So that equals 30 degrees, and that's OAT. And lastly, we have a straight line here going all the way through here. That's a big straight line. So a straight line is 180 degrees, and we have two angles out of it. So we're going to minus off 60 and minus off 30, which is going to equal 90 degrees. And that is SAT. SAT. Then lastly, this one equals this one. That's 90 because of OAT, opposite angles. Okay? So, last one here. First things first, let's do opposite angles. That's how I'd approach this first. So I'm going to go here equals here. So that's 70, and that's OAT. And also, here equals here, which is 80, which is OAT. Then to find this angle here, switch my colors, this angle here is going to be, it's a straight line, so it's 180 minus 70, which equals 110. And that's through um, SAD. And I'll find this one here is also 180, but then we're going to minus 80 off this one, which equals 100. That's SAT. Then you can finish it off with some opposite angles, where these two are the same. So that's 110 through OAT. And this is 110, 100. Oops. Through OET as well. But so hopefully that helps you out and you get to see it this time instead of not see it. So have fun doing your questions. They should be pretty quick. It's a pretty simple concept, hopefully.